Look at this. Isn't that adorable? Look at this bag. I got a little emotional because this might be they make your butt look so good. Man, I think I should go back in there and get it. I think I'm gonna go back in there and get it. <laughs> Let me go back in there and get it. Hello ladies, thank you so much for tuning in to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Shireen and I bring you fashion and lifestyle video content. So it is Friday, it is almost two o'clock and I'm headed to my sister's salon suite to get my hair done. I'm getting a new install. guys so it is saturday afternoon it's probably almost three o'clock by now um i slept in today let me tell you guys what i'm wearing i will be sure to insert some clips but yes this is a mary j blige concert tee i did a necklace stack here with the necklaces that you guys have probably seen on my channel tons of times. This is from Dillard's here. It's a mixed um, gold and silver metal. My Queen Nefertiti necklace. Um, this is from Beauty Melanin. And then this necklace here, it's like a locket from, or not a locket, but like a lock from, lock design from Nordstrom's Rack. And then I have on this coated, moto jacket from h and I also have on my American Eagle jeans and then I'm pairing it with these um, Nike Air Jordan um, that you guys have seen the Air Jordan mids you guys have seen it it has like my favorite color duo the green like a forest green and navy blue and then for the first time I'm wearing my bag that I purchased from Italy um, if you guys ever go to Italy Italy of as you may already know, are known for their leather goods. They have tons of stores that sell genuine leather bags. They are not name brand, but they basically adopt same styles as designer, you know, as designer or luxury bags. And they're made with genuine Italian leather for so cheap. I forgot how much I paid for this bag but I know it wasn't a lot of money. And so this is a color that I would not normally purchase um, as far as clothing, but I did want to purchase this as an accessory to wear this spring um, as a pop of color. I felt like this, um, this bag went perfectly with my outfit because it matched my sneakers really closely. And I need to wash these and place the laces in the, um, in the uh, laundry, but look at this. Isn't that adorable? Y'all, come on now, come on. So um, let's open up the packages that did come so far. I have not opened them up, you guys. So you guys are gonna see my first impression here <laughs> in this video. And then I am so, I, I'm hungry and I really want some Mexican food. I don't think I went to my, Me haven't been to my Mexican spot that I always feature on this channel in maybe like a, over a month. And so I'm definitely um, going to treat myself, but I am uh, logging all of my food in my MyFitnessPal and staying within my calorie and nutrition goals, okay? I am saving those calories for tonight, and that's been working for me, you know, picking a day in the weekend or picking one meal in the weekend to save up my calories. That's like a treat, and it's not anything too crazy like a bunch of macaroni and fried chicken and all that. Nothing is wrong with that, you know, whatever. Nothing is wrong when it comes to treating yourself, but everything has been pretty much reasonable health-wise. So I'm excited to do that. I may be going with my sister and possibly my mom because my sister is currently doing my mom's hair right now. 
and she wanted to peruse around town with me as I vlog today. So my mom may join us. We'll see. Um, and I also need to go to some other stores. Ooh, that sun just came out really, really, really bright. Um, so yes, yeah, so um, I need to go to Sephora. I need to replenish some of my makeup. Y'all, I'm a creature of habit. I wear the same makeup, okay? So that's why I don't really do tons of beauty videos here on my channel or show you guys show myself doing my makeup here on my channel a lot because i use the same products if it works for me i stick to it but i need to go to sephora to replenish quite a few products today i also wanted to peek my head back into nordstrom's rack i want to go to h m i want to go to american eagle so yeah there are a lot of things we want to do today and i also want to go to some thrift stores so that may be in between today and tomorrow because I am free tomorrow as well. Let's, um, let me go get these boxes so we can open it up and see what goodies we have. Y'all, I'm so starving. I text my sister, um, I text my sister like, are we going to have Mexican or what? She's like, mommy's on her way, so eat a snack. <laughs> what? So she told me to eat a snack, so that's what I did. But I am loving my hair. You guys, I use extensions that are directly from India. My sister took a trip to India many years ago, found a vendor, and has been using him ever since. And his hair is so good. Like, I truly believe that when you get good version extensions, you can wear them forever. And what she did was she added a new um, bundle just because I wanted my hair a little bit thicker. My natural hair is pretty thick. And so I really wanted my extensions to reflect my natural hair. So I am loving it, you guys. Loving my hair. My sister did an excellent job. If you guys are in Georgia or in the Atlanta area and you are interested in trying a new hairstylist, I'll definitely place her information down below. She has a salon suite and it's i mean this hair is amazing and she did such a great job always always um all right so let me take my jacket off because i feel like we need to get to work when it comes to opening up some of these boxes it's only three boxes of um items that i'm going to share with you guys today and then make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can see the other pieces that are coming in okay guys i think this is my package my gift oh my god let me pull this out y'all it is oh okay hold on y'all i am so excited so teddy blake of new york you guys sent me a package oh they contacted me and wanted to send me one of their bags if you guys are unfamiliar Teddy Blake is a luxury designer and they make bags that are um, made out of Italy. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. Super excited. So look at this box, beautiful, beautiful. I have been looking for the perfect work bag. I been carrying around my Saint Laurent tote. It is not leather, it is canvas, but it's a great quality. I've been carrying that around for some years and I, because I don't go into the office on a regular basis, I don't need it as much, but I have been using that bag to travel. I use that bag as a spend the night bag, okay? I use that bag for everything. And so there is definitely starting to get a lot of wear and tear on it and I wanted something different. I did not find the bag that I'm just like, that is the bag and a bag that I'm willing to invest in. So when Teddy Blake contacted me, I just thought it was the perfect opportunity and try out one of their totes. This is the bag here. This is, it comes in a duster. You guys, I, and I, when they asked me, um, you know, when I will feature their bag in a video, I told them that I wanted to you know, spend some time with the bag for a few weeks before I featured it. I definitely wanted to do an unboxing here on my channel. Until then, you guys, look at this. Oh my God. Look at this bag, y'all. Look at this bag. I am just now feeling, the leather is amazing. Oh my God. This is crazy.
You know that the last vlog that I uploaded, I talked about this is my first year here on my YouTube channel with this channel. And to have a luxury designer contact me to wanna gift me one of their bags is a huge deal to me. That is a huge accomplishment because I do this because I love it. And of course, I definitely love the, the, the perks and the benefits that come with it. You know, I am monetized on YouTube, been monetized for about six months now. There are other factors that do drive me to continue to produce content, but at the end of the day, I was producing for so long, producing content just for the love of it and putting my work in it. You know what I mean? And my time and my energy into my content. So this is such a pleasant surprise and was so unexpected. And I am so grateful. You guys, I wanna show you the details of this bag and give a more detailed review, but I do wanna spend some time with it first. So this is strictly an unboxing. It's a 15 inch leather crocodile um, design bag. You know, their price points are really good to get quality leather like this out of Italy. Their price points are amazing. So when you open the bag, look how big it is. Oh my goodness. And it comes with an additional strap. So if I wanted to just carry this over my shoulder, so I'm gonna take the stuffing out. So look at how big this is. Oh my God. What drew me to this bag was the color and the size as well as the design. Teddy Blake definitely has more, you know, more conservative bags. And I just thought this design was so pretty, especially for a work bag. I love it. I love it. And of course the size of it, this is one of their larger bags. And I'm going to test it out right now to see if it can fit my laptop. But look how roomy it is and deep it goes. You guys, this is everything. So I have two work laptops. I have one for my business and one for my job. And this, yeah, it fits, you guys. Look at that. It fits one, one of my jobs. <laughs> one of the laptops for my jobs. Oh my goodness, it fits it perfectly. I love that. You guys, this is everything, okay? So as I mentioned, I'm gonna give a more detailed review in a few weeks. I really wanna carry this bag around, see the comfort of it. It is not too heavy alone, you know, by itself, but I tend to, when I carry, um, when I go to the office or when I do, you know, when I need to carry my work bag, I usually treat it as a handbag as well versus carrying a handbag and a work bag. So we shall see. I love this. First impression, this is A1, okay? And it also has like a pocket here on the side. So because I do carry this as, you know, I would carry this as a handbag as well. This pocket is pretty deep. But you guys, this bag can fit a lot. Y'all, my eyes are a little watery because I got a little emotional. <laughs> oh my God. So... There we go. So I got a little emotional because as I was creating just a little bit of content for Instagram and I've been, I, I took a step back from Instagram. You guys already know this, but I am now strategizing and just thinking of a strategy where I can create content on Instagram again consistently because I just, it was a really difficult for me to just find my groove in YouTube and Instagram at the same time. Um, and I don't talk about the growth of, of how I'm growing as a creator, especially here on YouTube much. But um, I, you know, have turned down quite a few um, partnership opportunities because I did not feel like it fit authentically in my channel or it was just not who I was. And so, although my channel is still growing, you may look at it and be like, girl, your channel is still small, okay? But the, the way YouTube works and the way being a content creator works, when you have um, videos that may go on viral or, or that go viral, or if you have a lot of engagement, it really, the subscriber count 
I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but brands are really looking at what they would call, I think it's called nano influencers and micro influencers who may not have a huge audience like a person with a million or 500,000 you know, subscribers, but they look at, you know, the engagement and is the, is it an authentic community? And so I've had brands contact me, you know, for the past, I'm going to say over the past nine to 10 months, you know, because some of my first few videos did go viral, you know, they did go viral. Um, I think I had a short that had, um, like 76,000 views and I had another video, a long video that went up to like, I think over 25,000 views. And so when you get videos that so happen to make those numbers, um, even if you have low subscriber count, like during that time, I probably, I don't even know if I had a, maybe a few hundred subscribers. It wasn't a lot, but brands did contact me and some even offering to pay, you know, and I declined because, I did not feel like I would purchase, a. I did not feel like I would purchase one of their items with my own money. And that is kind of one of my rule of thumbs that I'm not going to place any brand on my channel that I would not purchase with my own money. So for me to wait, you know, close to a year and for Teddy Blake to contact me and offer to send me one of their bags, one that I would purchase with my own money, you know, cause I am all about high quality. For them to contact me and allow me to pick one of their bags out of their collection, they gave me no boundaries, no limits, whatever bag you want, you know, whatever bag I wanted. And I knew that I needed a work bag. That just made, that it's an overwhelming feeling of joy because unless you, if you don't create YouTube um, videos or create content, you don't realize the amount of work that it does take. And when you are still growing as a new creator, especially on a platform like YouTube, um, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. And I enjoy producing long videos versus short videos. And I think that's why it's been difficult for me to produce on Instagram. And we're not even gonna talk about TikTok. I don't even open up that app, okay? It's just too fast paced for me. I need, I'd like to, <laughs> I, need, I need something a little slower paced. That's why I love YouTube, but YouTube is a lot more work because you just don't put up a two second video and that's it. You know, of course they have short videos, but you know, if you like to produce long, um, long form video content, it takes a lot of work. And for us to do it, you know, for a, a certain amount of time with no one watching. I mean, my first few videos, no one saw them. I had no subscribers, but to, can, to, but to continue creating, you know, from the heart and putting your time and effort and doing it as if a million people were watching, because to be honest, I, I want to get better when it comes to editing my videos. And I used to be a videographer, but I've lost all skill. So I want to get better at creating and producing, but I do give it my all, you know, regardless of how many views it gets or will ends up getting, I keep going. And so to have a you know, uh, a brand, a designer such as Teddy Blake contact me and that be the first, um, that's pretty much the, that is the first official like brand, you know, that contacted me and I shared their item on my channel. It, for it to be a luxury designer of that status, that is amazing to me. That goes to show me, like, it, it just gave me a, a, a just another boost of motivation to keep going. And for that to happen around the same time as I get pushed further into entrepreneurship with, um, you know, creating as a marketer and consulting. You know, you guys have heard the story if you're not new here and if you've watched my vlogs. I just got so overwhelmed because I did a little something for Instagram. And they, and mind you, Teddy Blake did not tell me how many videos I had to produce or what I had to produce, what platforms I need to produce it on. They just said, hey, 
can you just let us know what bag, I mean, what kind of video you plan or, on um, featuring our bag and when can we expect it? That's all. They did not give me, a lot of brands will contact me, not even offering to pay and will give you so many rules, okay? And limits on what you need to produce and how you need to produce it. And I will, you know, gracefully decline, especially if, you know, I don't feel connected to their brand. And so, um, Teddy Blake, it, it, you know, we're not an official, you know, part, it's not a, an official sponsorship or partner, but they did gift me with one of their bags and I'm so honored. I'm so grateful. And as I was posting on my Instagram stories, I just kind of got overwhelmed with emotion because I just feel like God is really blessing me. Um, so much in the, you know, in the first quarter of this year, he's blessed me so much. And I tend to share, you know, those blessings with you guys to it further inspire you and motivate you and encourage you. But I've had a lot of hard, difficult times as well. You know, I've had, I went through some hard, difficult times. So now to see these blessings come, it, it, overwhelms me with emotion and you might say girl that's just a gift that's not no money i look at it as something bigger a fact the fact that a brand reached out to me and knows little old me you know what i mean i don't have hundreds and thousands of followers on any platform okay and it's it's just an honor it is an honor i'm so grateful i'm so thankful I'm gonna get to the other boxes that I've paid for, <laughs> but I just had to share that. Like, it it's an overwhelming feeling. I'm not this content creator that's used to getting gifts and money and all this stuff. That's just, I'm not there yet. And I do this because I love it. I love it. I love just sharing what's inside of me with you all and creating a community where we all have common interest. So, that is just that I'm not I'm not going to cry on my channel but I just wanted to share why my eyes might be a little bit might be a little bit watery <laughs> because I just got overwhelmed with emotion I did I I just feel like there's been tons of blessings just pouring down on me and I made certain lifestyle changes and I feel like ever since I started spending more time in devotion and just just going to God for every little thing, every little thing. He's been blessing me just, and it's been just an overflow of blessings on a continuous basis. Blessings that I could not have thought of myself. Could not have done it myself. I know it's him. So anyway, um, let's get to these other boxes. <laughs> So this next, I don't even remember what this was. Oh, it's a ring. So I love going on essence.com. They, and I'll link everything below if I can, but they sell, you know, luxury brands for a discounted price and they often have sales. I love their jewelry. I love designer jewelry. That is one of, I think, I love designer jewelry more than designer handbags. That is just it and shoes i love designer shoes too I certainly have to be designer but just high quality like i love a good high quality shoe as well as jewelry um i don't really purchase a lot of you know pure gold because it's so expensive but because my skin is sensitive i do go do i do a lot of gold plated and just hyperallergenic and just jewelry that's just high quality but costume jewelry at the same time or fashion jewelry and so i don't even do i remember what this is so it's a cute little box i don't even remember what this was um so this is by Alan Crichetti, I think that's how you say his name. Oh, I remember. And I think, is he from Brazil? Let me look it up. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so I purchased this cute ring. So I have not done an official wish list video, but I do have a wish list. And does, I'm going to say high quality jewelry, but designer jewelry is on that wish list. Um, you guys know I love statements paired with basics and I would wear designer jewelry or just 
beautiful jewelry with a basic tee, similar to what I have on now. I have a jewelry stack on with a graphic t-shirt and that is just my thing. I love, it doesn't have to be a graphic t-shirt, but I just love basic um, wardrobe essentials paired with statements and designer jewelry are one of those statement pieces that I love. I love, and I'm trying to get this stickier off of this part of the ring so I can really show it to you guys. So this is the ring here, you guys. I think this is so cute. This is the design, and I have pretty small fingers. So like my ring finger is a 4.25 in size. So finding rings just are not the easiest. However, I'm finding that certain, um brands the rings run a little smaller so i've been finding more and more rings but um carolyn gray if you guys haven't followed her or if you guys are unfamiliar her um name is it's carolyn gray on every platform i am so inspired by how she wears her rings she'll wear small rings and stack them on her fingers or she'll wear rings chunky small and just stack them on her fingers and i love that look so much so i'm definitely inspired by carolyn gray when it comes to her ring collection but this is i'm gonna put it on my ring finger here this is it here you guys how cute is this ring oh so i'll continue purchasing more pieces and building my jewelry collection but that is definitely on my wish list to do this spring and summer is to build a really good quality jewelry collection and most i really want the designer jewels okay now alan crocchetti that is the designer i think that is how you pronounce his name if i'm mispronouncing it please forgive me i am unfamiliar with this designer but it, it he is a brazilian jewelry designer he is a Brazilian jewelry designer. I believe he started when he went to, did he go to school in London or he moved to London? He started designing, but yes, he is a brilliant Brazilian jewelry designer, you guys. And I absolutely love this piece. So I actually ordered quite a few pieces. I think like four or five pieces from Zara. The piece that I ordered last actually came first. So I'm still waiting for the other pieces, but I ordered this knit vest top. Now, I don't know how this is going to look on me. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know because I am busty. I did purchase it because of the V-neck. You guys, if you are a busty girl, you know. The V-necks are always so flattering on us. But I recently started investing in crew neck design t-shirts and tops just because I like the jewelry stack that you can do with them versus the V-neck. But V-necks are great with like beautiful, you know, earrings. So, you know, you can definitely wear necklaces with V-necks, but I love to wear necklace um, V-necks with like nice, statement earrings and then crew necks with um jewelry that i can stack but i absolutely love this it is a knit kind of fabric so it it's it's definitely not something that i would have thought i would purchase for the spring um but it's light enough to wear so if it fits me nicely and i'm not going to try it on right now because i do have makeup on and i am rushing to leave out so i want to take my time and try this on but anyway you guys um let's head on out let's go meet my sister at little mexico i believe that's the name little mexico. all right guys so we are on our finally on our way <laughs> to the mexican spot Thought that I'd be healing now I didn't think I'd have to feel this now I thought I would have moved on But somehow the feeling still strong like I'll be <laughs> I, I can't even I have so much other things I need to do today Oh my god The waiter actually gave us shots of tequila Hold on, where's my, oh, make sure I have my wallet because I've w left my wallet here before. So normally I come here, left my lip gloss. I'm glad I have my Carmex. Normally I come here by myself because my boyfriend hates Mexican food. So I come here by myself or I'll just pick up, you know, 
in order to go. But my sister's new salon suite is in this area. So it's literally like five minutes from where I live. So she was wrapping up, she was doing my mom's hair and she came over here to meet me and she loves Mexican food too. When I tell you we had a little good time, the food was amazing. You guys have already seen, like I've already shared what I normally get. I got the same thing, the shrimp and steak fajita and we got um, skinny margaritas, which is like under 100 calories. So I was logging it too. I logged everything. I think I have 51 calories left for the day. And then um, my, and then he brought over some shots, y'all. I am not a tequila girl. I am not a, 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 I'm not a liquor girl, okay? The alcohol that I stick to is red wine. Those liquor days are over. Oh my goodness. And the skinny margaritas that were really light, refreshing. Everybody does not have the same, you know, everyone does not have good skinny margaritas. These skinny margaritas were so good. They were so refreshing. But when he brought those tequila shots, it was over. It was over. But. known better than to come in here on a Saturday because I'm just trying to get some help with some perfume okay and some makeup you want greater I am no wave be surfing I show you what I get this pay pull out with stacking been in a whole lot of pain now we laughing me and pain making plays till we crashing yeah 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 don't need to be on the scene, we are the scene. Yeah. Drip the weather from head to toe, la baby me. Yeah, I get what's mine. All right, guys, so I just came um, out of Sephora as well as HM. And I got a few things. Um, HM, I got just some basics, and Sephora, I did get some things, but they didn't have everything in store, so I will um, do some ordering online and some searching when I get home. Um, I did not go into American Eagle because when I returned my all those jeans that I did um, from that past American Eagle haul, they don't have much in store. Like, like I mentioned before, the reason why I ordered so many jeans is because every time I go in store, they just don't have many styles. And that's what happened when I went to return a lot of those jeans. I asked them, I said, do you guys have some of these styles in store? And I was asking about particular styles that I was thinking about keeping or not keeping, but getting the smaller size and they didn't have it. So it makes no sense for me to go inside the store now. I really have to go to the restroom and the door for the restroom for this, this you know, outside mall or whatever, outdoor mall or plaza is locked. So I need to find some more where I can go to the restroom before I continue my day. I will do a haul for you guys. Um, I'll do it if I'm, I don't think I'm gonna have enough sunlight. It is already seven o'clock. So I don't think I'm gonna have enough sunlight by the time I get home. So if I don't do the haul today, then I'll make sure I do it tomorrow before, you know, I get out for the day.
business ways is top of the year. Lately we've been real unsure and clear. Is it just me? Happy, happy, happy Sunday. <laughs> happy Sunday, y'all. I don't know how long this vlog is about to be, but I know editing is about to be a nightmare because I feel like it's gonna be super long. I typically don't like to upload vlogs um, longer than an hour. However, if I, if the footage is, is good and I'm enjoying editing and watching it while I'm editing, if I'm enjoying watching it while I'm editing, I'm gonna leave it in there just because that is, you know, it is what it is. But I feel like, the vlog may already be really long and we still got stuff to do today, okay? Anywho, um, I have you guys kind of high because if I lower you, there's like a glare. So that's why I'm kind of like looking up um, at the camera. And if you hear any noise in the background, my fridge is making ice currently and then I'm also washing clothes upstairs. So I apologize for that. And I'm on my iPhone 15, so there's no mic or anything to you know control the sound um so it is sunday it is about probably like one o'clock so this morning i got up um i went to bed really late last night and so and then i got up really early this morning that's typically how it goes and how my body works and then i got some grapes and went back to sleep <laughs> A little bit of food or a little snack always puts me back to sleep. So I got some grapes and then went back to sleep. And then I woke up around the same time as I woke up yesterday, um, like after 9.30. So I've been sleeping in or, you know, if you consider that sleeping in. Got some good rest. And then this morning I had to get up and finish editing um, the video that I uploaded this morning. And so if you guys are watching um, this video and you guys have been part of the community, you already know um, what video that is. It's a recent Thrift With Me Plus haul video. It's kind of short. Well, I guess short in comparison to my vlogs. It's like 20 minutes. So if you have not yet watched that video and you enjoy thrifting, you may enjoy that video. So I um, encourage you to watch. I'll link it below. Um, so I also had to submit some tax documents, y'all. I totally, totally misplaced my tax documents from last year. And I usually keep all my important paperwork in one place. So I don't know where the hell it is, but I just got my taxes done and it was such an easy process. Oh my God, it was so easy um, this time. Usually my taxes... It's, it hasn't really been getting complex, complicated. For the past few years, my taxes have been pretty simple and not too complicated. I've always had a business, um, even if it's not like a public business, but the past few people, um, I had one guy, he was doing my taxes for like maybe the past three years. And then I recently switched to someone new, a woman who's doing my taxes and she did a phenomenal job as far as what she could do, honey. Okay. All legal, all legal. <laughs> but, um, she just gave me some really good advice that I needed. And the previous guy, he was just getting too expensive. So anyway, the last document that I needed to submit, I just totally misplaced. So I reached out to him and with him knowing that I'm not using him, I was like, oh crap, what if he does not respond? And it is Sunday, so you know I don't expect a response today. But I was able to go on the IRS's website and download my documents. They go through a whole ID verification process. It really helps to already have an account with them. So hopefully those were the documents that she needed. So I was dealing with that this morning. And then as you guys saw in the previous clips, I had to water my plant babies. And I need to pick up something to deal with these like water gnats. Um, I noticed that there's been more gnats in my home. And I know that the, you know, spring is coming. The bugs are out. The bugs are trying to come out. But because my um, plants, I water them maybe like every two and a half, three weeks. I really do not water my plants often. I wait until they completely dry out. But in the plate that sits under them usually is filled with um, excess water where the roots can 
you know, drink <laughs> throughout the month. And so I've noticed I've been having more gnats around my home. And so I need to get something. I know they have um, certain products that, um, that help with that. So I've been meaning to pick, I, I intended on picking one up yesterday, but I just ran out of time, y'all. I ran out of time. And so it's on my list for today. And hopefully I'll just get around to it this week. So anyway, watered my plant babies and got dressed. And I'm wearing um, the other graphic tee that I got from H&M. I got the um, Mary J. Blige one and this one at the same time on sale. You guys, never purchase anything full price from H&M unless it's something like extremely special or unique. Um, become a member. See these gnats. Ugh become a member on their website you always get discounts okay and also if you shop in store make they'll always ask you if you're a member and um you have reward points so i shop from h&m website all the time so i always have like rewards point reward reward points went in there yesterday bought some stuff and i'm about to return it because i don't like it but we'll get to that in a minute i have on some shorts currently like some nike shorts um, but I plan on wearing the sweatpants that I'm about to show you guys from Target, the ones that you may have seen in the clip. I'll be wearing those today because um, we'll be going to a few thrift stores and then we'll be hanging out with my parents um, later on. So I wanted to just be comfortable, cool, relaxed. I hardly wanted to do makeup today, but I just did my everyday look, the same look that you guys saw all yesterday. And every time you see me on this channel, this is the same look. It is my every... It's, I guess everyday makeup look, even though I don't wear makeup most days, but I don't wear foundation, just concealer and all my um, same products. I also need to do a return from Sephora because I did get a product that was not exact, the exact product that I wanted to replace. It wasn't the exact color and I am a creature of habit. So I need to return that as well. So yeah, let's get to this mini haul from um, the clips that you guys saw yesterday with me out and about shopping at Target and H&M and Sephora. Um, and by the way, this Zara, this Zara piece is going back. Um, I totally forgot that most of the time the knit fabrics from Zara just irritate my skin. So that is the number one thing wrong with this. And then it also just doesn't fit right. It's too big around here. Like I think my, I'm just too busty for this look or for, I don't feel comfortable in it. So it's going back, but I really, I mean, I like the idea of it, but it's just not, it's just not for me in my body. All right, so first let's talk about what I got from Sephora. While I was on my Mediterranean cruise yesterday, I mean, yesterday <laughs> in October, no, last November, last November for my mom's 70th birthday, the video is here on the channel. So if you guys want to see travel vlog of go me going through France, Spain, and Italy, you can definitely be, um, watch that. Grab a snack and watch that because boy, was that something. Okay. Anywho. When I was there, I smelled this for the first time. It is the Chanel Mademoiselle um, fragrance. And I actually was going into, FYI, when you go overseas, getting fragrances are much cheaper. And not only are they much cheaper than buying them in the US, I think it's about maybe like a 20%, 30% difference. I'm not totally sure, don't quote me on it. But the um, store that I went into to buy fragrance also had um, an additional um, like promotion going on for a holiday out there. I think it's like Sweetheart's Day or something like that or Sweetest Day. I forgot, but it was another promotion where it was like an additional 40 or 30% off. And so if you, of course, purchase over a certain amount, you can also get your taxes back at the airport. So it's always smart to shop overseas for those reasons. And I was actually um, going to smell the Gabrielle by Chanel, my old manager, my manager at Gucci, when I used to work for Gucci, my manager at the time, she used to wear it and I used to love that fragrance on her. So I wanted to smell it and see how it smelled on me. And I think I've smelled it numerous times, but I just was like, okay, while I'm here, let me get it. 
and um, the one of um, our family friends that was there, she introduced me to Mademoiselle and I was hooked. So yesterday in Sephora, I went to smell this and I was so indecisive between this one, which is the intense versus the regular one and then there's an additional one so there's like two lighter smells and then this one is more intense and i don't know for some reason when i purchase fragrances i always get the or love the intense version i guess i love the sweet floral smells but the intense usually has like a i don't know like this one has like a pepper um note on it but i don't know these notes what is on here? I don't know these notes. I'll make sure I place them on the screen and link it below if you guys are interested. But this smells so good. It smells so, so, so good. And then I got my um, Bounce Boosting Serum. You guys, I have mentioned this. Let me show you guys. I've mentioned this on my channel numerous times this right here i kind of use it as like a under eye serum as well um it in the the instructions say this is by first aid beauty by the way first aid beauty and it is for sensitive skin and you guys know i have really sensitive skin and so i'm very careful about the products that i use and i don't like to use progress products with a lot of fragrance i'm all about like i can definitely wear fragrance and perfume but like actual products rubbing on my skin, fragrance free. I stick to fragrance free. And so um, this bounce boosting serum is when I tell you this thing works so well with evening out your skin tone, tightening your skin. I mean, I'm about to be, I'll be 41 in June. And I thank God for my genetics, for my mother and my grandmother. They have great skin. And my dad, like, I have been blessed with a family that have, you know, naturally great skin. But I do suffer from eczema. I do have other things going on with my skin, with my eczema. And I have to be really careful about what I eat and how I just manage my skin. And so this right here works so well. I mean, it keeps your skin tight, it evens your skin tone. The instructions say for you to apply this twice a day in the morning and the evening. I only apply it in the evening because the bottle is so small. It costs about $44 and this is the bottle. You know, it's, it's, it's such a small one ounce, you know what I mean, for $45. So I stopped, um, hold on, let me, yeah, one ounce for $44. So I stopped um, applying it twice a day, even though it works so well. Oh, then I also got my clear brow gel from Anastasia. They changed the way the bottle looks because I so, it used to be silver. So this right here, love it. This is what I want to exchange. This is the um, Brow Duo, um, the Powder Duo. I got it in ebony and I need it in chocolate. So I'm not sure if anything has changed when it comes to, let me look at it again. Because they may have like changed the name of each, but I really need... Yeah, this is too dark, so I need to exchange this. So I have my receipt, so we'll be exchanging this. Because I always have, I have like maybe 2,500 points <laughs> with Sephora, and because when I go in there, it's so hard for me to choose what I want, and I'm like, okay, let me just not use my points. But I got um, $10 off and then I with 500 points, and then I also got this package here. It is by, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that name, you guys. Please excuse me, but it includes a gentle cleansing foam, first care activating serum, concentrated ginseng renewing serum, and concentrated ginseng renewing cream. So this is that, and I'll show you guys. So it's these like mini bottles here. They're very small. You know how Sephora does. This is the box here. So I will, um, so this is the gentle cleansing foam. Um, this is the concentrated ginseng. 
And this one is the First Care Activating Serum. Now I am, this is the ginseng. I'm gonna do my research because I never heard of this brand. I'm gonna say it is Solwasu, Solwasu. I love, you know, skincare, but I'm not a person that tries a lot of different products out. When I find a product that I like, I stick to it forever. Like I've been using Neutrogena skin, um, you know, cleanser, face cleanser for the past probably 25 years. Now from H&M, I picked up some basics because you guys, I mentioned that I've been looking for some basic t-shirts. This, I, I, the fit is okay, but it's just, just way to like work out it looks like a workout tee. And so maybe that was the purpose of this, to be honest with you. This might be one a part of their um, active wear collection and I just did not know it, but it wasn't in the active wear section. It was like in the regular tee section and or the regular, um, the regular like basics. And I love the color, like I love this gray, but I just don't like the material. I feel like the material will also hold every like oil, lotion. I'm, I don't like fabrics that, you know, will show every like imperfection. And so I'm gonna return it. I got it. I also got it in this color here. It's kind of like an olive greenish, grayish color. You guys know I'm all about neutral. <laughs> When I was at Sephora, I was actually looking for um, a red lipstick and um, and my contour powder kit by Kat Von D. And the, Kat Von D is completely out of the store. I don't know how long that's been because I don't remember the last time I've been in Sephora. And I don't think they're on the website. So I'm going to look it up d directly from the Kat Von D's website. But when I went to Target, I was in their... Um, I was like looking at the lip bars red lipstick because my sister recommended me going to Target to get um, try the lip bars red lipstick, black women owned, by the way. And then it's located right next to Black Radiance product. And I saw that they had a contour palette kit that was powder. And I just prefer powder contours because I do it really, really light. And so I don't I don't know if I know how to apply the cream you know i don't think i'm i don't know if i'm that good you know what i mean so this right here is the kit so i said let me you know i'll try it out just to see if it's worth it you know it was definitely it's definitely much 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 cheaper than the kat von d's contour kit so this one is from medium to dark because i don't fyi i don't use highlight I do not highlight, I only um, use the contour and then I use a little blush. I do not highlight at all. So I knew I just really wanted to focus on these two here. And then this is like a nice bronzer, highlighter bronzer that I would also use as well. But when it comes to like the really, really like typical highlight, I really wasn't looking for that. So I'll follow up to see how um, to share how I would, how I like this after trying it out. And yes, I mentioned the lip bar. So this is the lip bar here. Um, the lipstick, it is the nourishing lipstick with mango seed butter. And it is a red, very red. It's called Vexed is the color. So I'll follow up you all with how I like this. Um, I don't wear lipstick very, very often. I'll wear it in videos sometimes and when I'm going out, but I don't know. Like I like gloss for like an everyday look, like the gloss that I have on now, but I do have naturally dark lips. <laughs> um, it runs in my family, so. I do like to wear a little gloss or something. And I'm trying to open this without like breaking it because it seems it's kind of small. So I want to show you guys. Okay, here we go. So this is the color here. So it looks like an orangey red. I'm not really sure how it's going to look, but it's like an orangey red. Um but my sister is, you know, she does hair and makeup and she said this is a really good lipstick. So we'll see.
We'll see. This is by the lip bar. And then I also purchased four of my favorite lip glosses, like drugstore lip glosses. This is by Maybelline. Um, I've talked about this on my channel before. This is the lifter. Um, so I got the color in Reef. And I'll insert some clips, you guys. I'm currently wearing this color here, but it's so light. Like, I thought the shade of pink would be a little bit more um, pigmented, but it's not. Um, this one is Gummy Bear. I should have known with, the, with Gummy Bear being the name. I didn't really look at the name while I was getting it. I'm really interested in wearing this one. This is a peach color here. Really interested in this one. And then this one I've had before. This one is, oh no, I have stone, but they're all like running out. So this one is in silk and it's very close to the color that I do have um, upstairs. So yeah, I just needed some more lip glosses because I do wear lip gloss really, really often. And then these sweatpants, y'all, please believe I'm gonna look out for more and go on the website for more. I got it in a size medium. They make your butt look so good. And I really, really, really love how long they are. Like sweatpants may shrink, you know, I don't know. I love sweatpants that are wide leg that go and cover most of my sneaker. I just do, I don't know why. I do not like sweatpants that ride up or like that look like high waters. Give me the length. And this sweatpants right here, this is by, these are by Wild Fable. So I'm actually gonna literally wear, put these on for today, but they had them on the web, they still have them on the website. They um, have them in black, yellow, and like a, um, kind of like a beige color, like a tan color, but they did run out of sizes. This was $25. I am absolutely gonna buy more. I'm definitely gonna buy more of these because they're not too, too thick. You can wear these in the spring and summer and be fine, but they just are so flattering. They're so flattering if you are a curvy girl. They're so flattering. The photos that they display online do not do them justice because they're models, you know, modeling them. But if you are a curvy girl and you have curves and you want sweatpants that flatter your curves and are comfortable and are a comfortable fit, you should definitely consider these. I did get the size medium and the, the skirt that you guys saw in the clip, it was a cargo skirt. I did not get it, but I tried on both the medium and large. The medium was slightly too tight, but I was able to zip it up. I, I would have gotten the large if I decided to get that skirt. So just I'm just giving you guys that for to reference in regards to your sizing at Target. If you typically wear a large at Target, especially with their denim that's slightly stretched, you may wanna get a medium in these sweatpants because I, I, I don't really like my sweatpants. Like there are times where I, I would wear baggy sweatpants, but for this style, I wanted it to fit me, you know, the right way and the medium fit me perfectly. Matter of fact, they, I don't even think they had any larges in store because typically I would have grabbed the large because I just automatically think I'm a large, but this size medium is the way to go. But I do want to show you the sneakers that I'm wearing today. And I know these sneakers are not everybody's cup of tea. I purchased these sneakers maybe like seven or eight years ago. And I wear them, you know, when I want to be comfortable. They're by Stella McCartney. This is when those were like, you know, these sneakers were so popular back in, you know, like 2000, I don't know, like 14, 15. And so they used to go on sale all the time and I grabbed them and they feel like you're floating on clouds. Like I said, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea in regards to design, but they feel like you are floating okay they're super comfortable um and they are they give you some height so if you are you know a certain height and you want to give yourself some height without wearing heels they are a great look but like i said they are so old i got them many 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 years ago got them on sale they're Stella mccartney's um and yeah that is it you guys that is all for this mini haul <laughs> um and i am going to 
grab like get a little snack to eat and then we're gonna go and go to and then we're gonna go to a few thrift stores before I am but I am deciding to um I'm deciding to not return those items today because it's going in the different direction um that I want to go to go in um, like I mentioned earlier, I wanna, I'm going to visit my parents today, hang out over there with them and my grandmother and some other family. And then, um, and on my way there, there are a few thrift stores that I'm gonna stop by, but going to like the H&M and Sephora is in a different, the opposite direction. So it just doesn't make sense for me to go there right now. Um, but I'll make sure I return them like sometime this week if not next weekend when I'm most likely over that. Like I go on the on that part of town all the time. So I'll get those things returned, those items returned. But for today, I wanted to just stop by, I wanna stop by the Goodwill, two Goodwills. all right guys so didn't see anything that i wanted um but i was really tempted to get that hot pink cardigan I just know how funny I am with cardigans. Like it has to be, I don't know. Like I'm not a person that wears bright colors, but I just thought that would be, like that's a really bomb statement. I think I should go back in there and get it. I think I'm gonna go back in there and get it. <laughs> Let me go back in there and get it because I'm already thinking about it and I just left out the store. Let me go back in there and get it. I'll be back. I got it y'all. And I still don't know if it's for me. I can envision. So what made me get that bright, hot pink cardigan? And then I saw, you you would have saw in the previous clips where I saw another hot pink sweater. It was more of a V-neck, but so I love a good oversized cardigan. And you guys, if you guys, have been hanging out on my channel for some time you know the difficulty i have with um finding cardigans and the one cardigan that i love that's my favorite is the one from farm farm rio and it's oversized but it just fits me really well this one i don't know i didn't try it on it was six dollars and it may not work for me but what when i initially grabbed it I grabbed it because I just saw this as like a statement piece. I typically don't wear color, let alone bright colors like that. But if I'm going to like an event somewhere in the fall or winter, pairing that with some, like I'm just thinking about like some like distressed jeans, maybe with like, um, yeah, and maybe tucking it under my bra where it looks, um, where it looks 
more cropped i don't know there i i just feel like it would be the perfect statement piece and what got me on it were those gold buttons like those gold metal buttons just kind of took it up a notch it was made in china i don't rem i don't know who that brand is but I, I feel like i've seen that brand before maybe at target or somewhere but i feel like i could do something with this that cardigan and the fact that i came out of the store i put it back right i put it back after i saw the v-neck um pink sweater and i was like what am i doing what am i doing with these hot pink but as soon as i came to the car and started talking to y'all i was like maybe i should get it and i i just don't want to play with myself and start thinking about that sweater tonight because i've had regrets coming out of the thrift store trying to shop intentionally and then i'm thinking about something for a week that means i should have got it so if i change my mind i'm out of six dollars and i'll either give it away or donate it back but i'd rather not take that risk <laughs> So that is my first piece. I do want to go to another Goodwill. Um, first of all, so I never thrift on Sundays. I just never do. Usually I'm in the house on Sundays. I didn't realize so many people thrift on Sundays. I feel like the thrift store was more packed than it would be on a Saturday. Sorry guys, it is quite warm. Even though it's only 64 degrees, but the sun is beaming. So I'm turning on my air, air conditioning. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the risk by getting it. But I told you guys, I am all about statements paired with basics. You could even pair that cardigan with the regular white t-shirt, some nice gold or mixed metal jewels, some jeans, like some light wash denim. You're good to go. Or you could make it a little bit more sexy. Say you're going to an event in the evening during the fall and you're going, or you're going out for the winter, no shirt underneath, let it show a little cleave. I'm telling you, there are certain ways to wear it, and, but it would have to be a statement piece that I wear. That's not something that I would just wear on a daily basis, but I wanna look at my closet and I wanna see statements. I wanna see statements, I wanna grab statements. I feel like when you focus on getting certain pieces that like that, that are not like an everyday piece, you never not have anything to wear. If something comes up random, I have a piece to wear that looks fashionable, stylish, but those gold buttons just got me, I'm sorry. They won me over. They won me over. So yeah, guys, I'm happy with my, I'm glad I went back and got it. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm so glad I went back and got it. <laughs> Cause I think I would have been regretting it and just had the what if, you know, sometimes you have to take a risk. You can shop intentionally while still taking a little bit of risk. And I definitely have regret, um, regrets. And I've talked to you guys on this, sh I've talked to you guys in previous videos about them where I did not get something at the thrift store or I got rid of something that I already, that I got at the thrift store. But when I do not get something at the thrift store and I go home and I think about that piece, I'm like, why didn't I get it? Why didn't I get it? Like, don't second guess yourself, even if, and I immediately thought of how I would wear it. Duh, like the piece is supposed to be in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to go to another Goodwill because when I find pieces like that, like ugh, those are the type of pieces that I'm looking for. And I know we're going into the summer and spring, y'all. I know. But like I mentioned in a previous video, I shop all seasons at the thrift store, especially off season because people are now purging. They're like, I did not buy this. I did not wear this this winter. I did not wear this last fall. Let me get rid of it. Springtime is coming. People are doing their spring cleaning. And I'm not going to leave a gem just because it is not in the up and coming season. Absolutely not. Fall will come around. Winter will come around. So this is like the best time to actually look out for certain pieces. I've seen some really nice coats, but I'm trying to calm down with um buying coats unless something really really screams at me but no I, I plan my wardrobe is going to be set for next winter and fall because 
a lot of the best pieces are donated in the spring and summer and vice versa you know so but I don't typically see a whole lot of spring and summer pieces in the thrift store like I just don't I don't I know you they're they're there for sure but nothing that I told you I don't like anything regular and I'm always looking for accessories or statement pieces so in the spring and summer I'm typically um, looking at accessories like those scarves that I showed you guys in the previous video you know belts bags and I'll just you know those skirts I did you know find a few skirts but I'm typically not wearing a thrifted I don't know regular short sleeve shirt I just I don't know I'm just not looking for that matter of fact though however I do I am still looking at silk blouses and I was looking for silk blouses at that previous Goodwill and I'm not finding them so I'm gonna continue looking for them because those are blouses that I would wear in the spring and summer so I'm still looking for some silk blouses or some really nice light blouses I don't mind wearing long sleeve don't you know all year. I wear long sleeve all year long not necessarily you know being outside in an outdoor festival or anything but if it's a really light fabric that's what I'm looking for to wear outdoors and I love light sheer fabrics that's just I don't know I'm just into that like that's why I love that sheer silk blouse from Zara so much because I used to pair it with like little short denim shorts um, yeah and a little bra underneath and you're good to go to me a, a long sleeve sheer or silk blouse paired with some denim shorts is a really good look for the summer especially for I particularly don't like wearing tank tops I don't think that they're flattering on me and I really find short sleeve tops at the thrift store that I like I just think a, a long sleeve sheer blouse, especially a light, nice, high quality fabric is real grown woman. It, it makes you look like, like that is such a grown woman look with the denim, some denim shorts, nice bags, some nice jewels. That is such a grown woman look. And I'll try so oh so besides that one purse um i did the material was really 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 cheap it was like a satin material like a polyester um purse it was really cute though and it mm, the reason why i showed it to you guys was because that rosette look i think that's what it's called rosette look is definitely on trend and everywhere i actually also saw a blazer i wish i would have gotten some footage on it i didn't think about it like this jacket it was like peach it looked like a, it looked like something somebody would wear to church to be honest with you um no offense to anybody that goes to church but it looked very much it would need to have been tailored but it also had those rosette um, on it as well and the material was not good at all if the material was decent I may have you know grabbed it and did something to it but the material wasn't good but yeah that was it from that Goodwill so now I am headed to my parents house I don't know I think my mom said she was making some curry gold All right, you guys, I am finally back home from my parents' house. We didn't really do much. We just watched some TV, ate some curry goat. I had curry goat with string beans. I didn't have any rice, but the rice and peas did look mm, good. Um, I did have some Stella Rosa red wine, and it was really sweet. I logged it into my, my fitness pal, and it was sweet, and it had a lot of calories, so I'm going to stick to my Josh. I think I'm going to pour me a glass. And what's funny is... 
that wine was definitely way more um, unhealthy, but, and it wasn't strong at all. Like it tastes kind of like juice. So I'm gonna have a glass of my Josh Cabernet this evening to close the weekend out. But I had such a great weekend. It was such a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you are new here and you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe, um, hit that notification bell. I do upload videos every Sunday and Thursday. Um, so yes, feel free to follow me on Instagram. If you are on that platform at Shireen underscore H, I always pop my um, Instagram and basically my social, my name for all social platforms in the corner of the video screen. But thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys, and I will see you in my next video.